morning youtube it's your girl curry and i'm back again with another video okay so today i'm gonna do like a little cameo but today what we're doing is i'm gonna cook so my best jess she showed me this uh chickpea like she's vegan slash vegetarian however she made this like little taco thing for me when i went to go visit her in cali last and she had like chickpeas um like uh like coleslaw like topping and cheese or something else i can't remember but it was really really good it's like a little taco and i loved it but i had to recreate it because it was just too good and i'm all the way in texas now so i have to just make it myself okay so now before y'all get into you know oh why is your chicken looking like this I already cleaned it off camera and then I cut it and I let it sit in some chicken broth while I got the rest of the stuff together. So that way it wasn't dry. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to use my seasoning to season and then I'm going to go back and get the shrimp. While the chicken's cooking, I'm going to get the shrimp together and I don't want to like mix it with my hands. So that's why we got the spoon right here. And then um, I'm also, while this is cooking, this is going to be cooking. So that way, this is the, I probably should show y'all. So this is the onions and the bell peppers. So that way that um, these can be brown, cause I like mine charred, like all the way charred, like crispy. So um, that's gonna be cooking. And then, um, yeah, we'll just get back to it. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go with my garlic powder. Don't be don't be clocking how much I be putting in my seasoning because um I cook for me. I don't be cooking for y'all. Okay, y'all. I don't know what seasoning that was. Oh, my paprika right there. Then that's the onion powder because I already did the garlic powder. What is it? Uh, I don't know what it was. I'm moving so fast. So I shouldn't have sped it up like this. That's my poultry seasoning. What is it? Okay, so for my chicken, when it comes to my tacos, I add cinnamon. But I don't add a whole lot. Just like a little bit, okay? Like a, about as much cumin as you would add. Like a little little small spoon. Pinch. Not too much, okay? What is it? What is it? Uh, that's my cumin right there. Uh, that's the adobo. I was going to say onion powder. Help me. Okay, then now for this, I'm only going to use a third of it. If I was making more chicken, I probably would use half the little bag. But since I'm only making like, I think that's maybe like four chicken tenders cut up into pieces so that's why i'm using the third and then i was mad that one open i thought it was open so annoying okay there you go you see the line just i just wait till my answers to tap me my granny tapped me on my shoulder said that's enough that's when i say it's enough okay okay then look me stirring it up because i ain't want to touch it too much going on and i ain't want to get salmonella everywhere y'all know chicken and salmonella i ain't got time it's gonna go in a little tortilla, so that's why it ain't that much meat, okay? Or that's why it ain't that much chicken, because it's a lot of shrimp. Yeah. Okay, now and my, um, my pots is already hot. Oh, I keep calling them pots. My pan is already hot, so they're really just ready. But I need to put the butter in there, so. So, what I do to keep my chicken from being dry, because y'all be having dry chicken, and I don't like that. Um, I add butter to it when I'm cooking it and oil. I know that might be fat, but I'm a fat girl at heart, so y'all will be all right. And, oh, this is the wrong pot. Oh well, gotta commit. Turn that up a little bit. Now let's get to seasoning. Put a little bit of oil in there. Okay, y'all. So for right here, I'm not gonna keep naming out every every uh, seasoning that I put. I just put it in the comments below because it was too much to try to keep up. You see how fast it's going. I can't tell you what's what. But one thing I will say when it comes to my shrimp and my crab, I don't use the cinnamon in that. I only put it in the chicken. Um, you can put it in the, I mean, in the um, shrimp and the crab, but 
I just decided not to this time because I wanted a, a wide variety of flavors. So that's why I wanted to change it up between the chicken and the, the seafood. Um, okay, then I put a third of that packet. And then it's time for me to make sure my chicken don't burn. Excuse me while I check on it. y'all can hear me because this stuff loud so on my onions and bagel peppers i do season those too i start with the lime juice and I, I use a little bit of my pico i don't know the flavor this got two tops on it what in the world i don't know the flavor on it sometimes just be given for me so make sure it don't we not using pico today and Walmart, I'm calling the police on y'all. Cause it stank. It smelled like outside. It smelled like bounce that. And I don't like that. Since I don't have pico, I'm just gonna season as normal with everything else. It's not the end of the world and I have pico. I just like the pico for my own preference. So a little bit of the taco seasoning. And usually I would use the pico juice to kind of judge up the taco seasoning but since i don't have that i'm just going to use a little bit of chicken broth okay y'all so this is how my shrimp look after i'm done seasoning it i ain't put a whole lot on the shrimp because i don't want it to be super spicy um and i want like a little bit of a like natural shrimp taste so that's why it's kind of lightly seasoned but once i'm done cooking it it won't be lightly seasoned now for my squash, I'm not going to show y'all that just because it ain't much to me. It's just seasoning or let roast it. That's it. Um, okay, now I'm just checking out my chicken. My onions and bell peppers is cooking. Okay, so don't mind my mouth moving right here because y'all can't really hear me over the the loudness of the food cooking. I want to know what kind of TV shows y'all be watching. Um, let's see. My favorite one that I just caught up on is The Winter Warrior on Netflix. But let me let me know what y'all be watching in the comments, or if y'all have any recommendations for me, definitely let me know. Okay, y'all, me and that can opener are gonna have a fight. However, I got the chickpeas in here and one of the cans of the black eyed peas before my can opener decided to just say, forget me. But, so I take that, some of that taco seasoning. Usually I would use the gravy or whatever kind of juice it, that comes with the black eyed peas, but I poured it out today because I thought I was going to be able to use the second can. So we got to make some revisions to my recipe. Mm. Nothing chicken broth can't save. So we got my chicken broth. 
some cilantro. My chicken should be done. So you could leave the sauce, but I'm going to pour it out because it's already going to be a lot of sauce. And I don't want my tacos to be super wet. Okay, and that's how the chicken will look when it's done. So I'm going to put that out the way. I'm the one that hated washing, washing dishes growing up. I used to hate it so much. Oh my God. Mom used to make me so mad. She would use the biggest bowl for the smallest thing. And he sent me so mad. I don't even know why she would do that. I used to ask her why. But she never had an answer. <laughs> but I started throwing dishes away. One day she found out. Because I stopped having to do dishes. I started having to make dinner every, every uh, week for my chore. Yeah. You finally getting some char on these peppers and these onions. And we better because my camera died it's been some days so i should have been charged it okay this is good to go so let me show y'all y'all see them black beans and them chickpeas garbanzo beans whatever you call them garbanzo and all the hot ingredients, I'm just combining because when I store it, I'm just going to store it all together anyway. So, ain't no use in making extra dishes. I told y'all I hate making dishes now. I hate I had to use so many for this. Like, ridiculous.
Now, I'm, this is meal prep, so I'm not finna eat all of this right now, but I am gonna eat one, just a taste test for y'all. So, usually what I would do is I'll take the tortilla and that same skillet, eye pot, whatever you wanna call it, that I cooked the like seasoning with the either the usually I just do it with the peppers and the onions um but since I put my shrimp in there I have no choice but to just put it in there with that but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cook it for like a little bit flip it on the other side so I get nice and greasy all that extra grease that's in there I'm gonna cook all that up and when I go to reheat it what I'll do is I would just take this and then put some oil in the, in the pan or you can, you know, toast it in the oven, whichever you want to do. But me, I like to do it on the skillet. Now, the trick is to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. Because if it gets too hot, then um, you have the bubbles. And some people don't like bubbles. I don't really care if I get a bubble or not. I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm just going to mix all my hot toppings together. So that way I kind of get, you know, a balance of everything. And I'll show y'all what that looks like when I'm done. Get into plating. Let me show y'all what the hot toppings is looking like. This all the hot toppings, and then y'all already know I'm gonna add the lettuce and the cheese. I don't want a whole lot because I'm not really hungry, so we're just gonna get a spoon, well, a couple of spoonfuls. Make sure I get some chicken in there. such a mess uh, all right, a little bit of cheese cilantro I like a lot of cilantro so I don't be putting a little bit I be putting a lot I'm sorry and some tomatoes Let's make it look cute for Instagram. A little bit of lime juice. Just a little sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Okay, and then typically if I had my pico that was not looking crazy, I would add my pico first. Sometimes I do it last. For the most part, I do it first. And just a little bit of guac. I don't want a whole lot because it's not a whole lot on this. So then just a little bit of guac on the top, a little dollop. Because it's not enough. And there you go. It's gonna be my dinner for the week, y'all. So, mm. and I guess I can give y'all a test shot if I could figure out how to pick it up. Oh my god! Mm, mm, mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, y'all. I cleaned off my plate. I was not showing y'all that because there's no need. However, um, that's the end of this video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and put the recipe down in the comments so that way y'all if y'all want to recreate y'all can y'all can tell me how y'all did it i want to see the videos of y'all trying to recreate it um but yeah mm, thank you for watching i'm still trying to get comfortable this is only my second video so y'all don't 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 be on me too much okay i'm just trying to get comfortable but all right